The Moro reflex is one of the many primitive reflexes seen at birth. In this video we will learn about what the Moro reflex is and how it is helpful as a diagnostic test. The Moro reflex is an involuntary motor response or natural action of the baby to a threatening stimulus such as a noise or a sudden movement. It is a two-step process and develops shortly after birth. The infant throws back its head, splays its arms at the shoulder and extends its legs. This is followed by the baby curling its legs and arms back to its body, followed occasionally by the baby letting out a cry. The practitioner can test the Moro reflex by gently cupping the baby's head in its hand and releasing it suddenly, allowing it to fall back for a short moment and then supporting it again. The practitioner observes the baby and looks for three possible outcomes. Number one, a normal symmetrical Moro reflex. Number two, an absent Moro reflex. Or number three, an asymmetrical response of the upper extremities. Both an asymmetrical Moro reflex or an absent Moro reflex require further investigation for the following reasons. Both an absent and an asymmetrical Moro reflex are as a result of birth trauma. An absent Moro reflex normally as a result of trauma to the higher centers, such as in the case of cerebral palsy. An asymmetrical Moro reflex, on the other hand, is normally as a result of a local trauma, either to a peripheral nerve, the brachial plexus, or as a result of fracture to the clavicle. An absent Moro reflex would require further investigation in the form of a thorough neurological exam. An asymmetrical Moro reflex would require further investigation in the form of local palpation, neurological exam, and x-ray. Fractures of the clavicle in the newborn are the most common fracture to occur during delivery, even in natural spontaneous deliveries. They often go unnoticed, which is why it is so important for the osteopath to consider it even when there has not been a previous diagnosis made in the hospital. From an osteopathic point of view, the Moro reflex can also be used to assess torticollis. The arm on the side of which the torticollis is suspected will maintain a more flexed position than the contralateral arm. The Moro reflex typically lasts between two to four months and disappears by the sixth month, once the baby's neck can support its head. A continuation of the Moro reflex beyond the six month mark could be a sign of a more serious problem and requires further neurological investigation.